Jim here, Olive here. Olive is a seven-month-old Bernie Doodle, came in for our residency training program. What's so wild, we just did another Bernie Doodle in the same cycle. I've done two Bernie Doodles in residency, and they're both right now, same time from different owners. Work with them one-on-one. -on -one. They tend to be very smart dogs, uh, very happy, affectionate dogs. That's the same for Olive. She's very happy, excited, uh, motivated to do things. As Rachel pointed out when we were uh, talking about Bernie Doodles uh, earlier, she said that uh, they, they want to please, they just want to have fun doing it. And you're going to see that. Hopefully you're going to see that. She's going to be excited and want to do the things that we ask. We still have boundaries. It's important that we're the leader. And when we're the leader, we establish what we want our dog to be able to do and what they can't do. Pulling on a leash, biting on a leash, uh, doing the gator roll, uh, little things like that. The behaviors that we want to address, I believe, can be best addressed when they get a little bit older and through obedience. So five months, six months, seven months is a perfect age. Even older, but at least at that age, they're capable of understanding and learning what we want. We know she's not gonna be perfect. We know we're not gonna be perfect. But what we wanna do is continue to get better. It's a lifelong partnership. And when she does something right or wrong, we praise her consequence. I call it motivation. So praise is words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. Consequence is uh, words and touch. And sometimes little subliminal things like uh, ignoring a bark or something along those lines. She's done real good. She's been looking around, checking things out. I don't mind that distraction. She is very distracted that way. I just want her to obey when we start to work. And she can never, ever pull me on a leash again. Olive, you ready, baby? Let's go. So the very first thing is our let's go command. Our let's go to go command is her walking right beside me. You can only imagine how good this has gotten. Uh, if she pulls out in front, we tap back to our side. If she goes this way, we tap to our side. When we have a dog that's really distracted, once they start to learn, when she looks one way, I go the other, and if she doesn't immediately sense it, I tap back to my side again. Olive was one of those dogs that was very resistant to walking. She would bite at the leash. When she bites at the leash, we started to tap the leash and tell her no. She would also not want to walk. She would jump. She would have little fits of doing different things to try to get out of listening to us. She really didn't want to give us that leadership privilege to begin with. She would actually do what I call the gator roll. That's where they lay down and start twisting on the ground. What happens with most owners? They stop when that happens. What happens with Jim Hodges and Rachel Hodges? We keep walking, tapping lightly, encouraging, and when they do get up and said they had enough of this, we praise the heck out of them. So let's go, it's just walking with us on a loose leash. We can jog, we can run, we can walk fast, we can slow down, she just has to pick up. Another thing this little dog likes to do that a lot of other puppies do as well is grab our feet. So when she hasn't done it with us, she has done it with the owner, when she starts grabbing the feet, no, you just tap. Catch it in the moment. Catching it in the moment is gonna let her understand what's she doing in that moment of time. Praise in the moment is the same thing. We try to communicate as much as we can right at that time. So to summarize, let's go. It's anything we want to do, we want her beside us. On a loose leash, when we have to bite, it's a tap and release. It's not pulling. When we pull, we do the work for them. Okay, baby, let's go. Sit. And signal for sit. Good girl. If she didn't sit then, I would have tapped the leash straight up and told her no sit. Now that she has sit, if she was to get up, I would bite her and tell her, no sit. Uh, that's what it amounts to. I don't keep a dog in a sit for a long time because I worry about their rear ends. So I don't mention the word S-T-A-Y to tell them to do. I know I'm only gonna keep them there a short while. So what I am gonna do is, is I'm gonna uh, B-R-E-A-K her here in just a second. And when you do, watch what I do. I've got loaded up a little treat in my hand. No sit, no sit. No sit, good girl. So you don't understand my, what I did there. If you watched her butt sort of flopped off to the side, I'm trying to teach her to straighten up on her sit and not get too wacky or, or out of shape. Break, right here, I got a treat right here. She sat, she didn't have to, good girl, break. Right here, good girl. 
If she tried to jump on me then, I would have bit her. She did that in the beginning, but now she does it. I don't mind her coming in and rolling to me on a break. On the calm command, it'd be totally different. She has to come and sit for me. Let's go. So you understand what we're doing with the sit command. The thing I tell my clients is you know when you're going to give a command. Think about what you're going to do and be ready to act on it if it happens. Sit. Good girl. Very good. Let's go. So we can go from any command to another command if we want. Sit. Good. Now the down. Remember, sit is up, down is to the ground. This is her head. No, down. Not like this, but no, down. Okay? We're not going to tap hard. We're not here to intimidate, dominate, break her spirit, hurt her, or have her fear us. It's correctional, and it is something to let her know in the moment. What you doing? So one of the things she had a problem with was trying to pick things off the ground and smell uh, and not pay attention. If she was to try to pick something up from her, I would just bite the leash and tell her no. Smell in the ground, I'm not too concerned about because she realizes she's there for a while. But if it gets too obnoxious, I am going to bite it. You decide where you'll go. The point is, is when she gets to the point that she's totally uh, leaving you out of the picture, we've gone too far. We've got to tighten up and make her understand to pay attention a little bit more. Sit. Good girl. Now straighten a little bit. Good. See how she straightened that time? Very good. Let's go. So we just did the down from the uh, side. Sit. Down. Good girl. Same thing, except the hand signal's here instead of here. Still, good girl. When she looks at you, praise her. That's why she was looking at me. I wanted to praise. When you've got a dog that gets distracted, you can even take a treat when she's looking at you, especially in the beginning. Just give her the treat when she looks at you. As she's starting to look at you and she's holding your gaze, she's understanding that that's a reward moment. When I, when I do give her a treat, I'm going to pet her and love her. She's just like the other one, though. I'm going to tell you, she's treat crazy. So we don't give treats all the time. We give it for learning and for jobs well done. And we never give a treat unless we were teaching a focus to begin with uh, by teasing and luring her to do a command. She does the command we ask. If she does it, that's when she gets the reward if you decide to do it. Break. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Let's go. So the next thing is the place command. Place. Good girl. We get on the bed. She can lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what she does as long as she stays on the bed. There is no other command associated with place. We're not going to tell her to stay. We're not going to tell her to down or sit. She can do any of those things, good girl, that she wants to do. We want her there. It's a good way for us to be in control, okay? And by keeping her in a safe place while we do things we need to do. If she got up or she didn't go to the bed, we would tap, a lot like the let's go, parallel to the ground, no, 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 play back to the ground, back to the bed. When we do have to provide a consequence, we want to provide a light praise, no, sit, and then good girl afterwards. Always praise, even after a bite when they're doing what we ask her to do. She can easily do this for a couple hours. In fact, all of my residency dogs, that's the goal. A couple hours when I'm chilling at night, uh, doing whatever I'm doing, I want them to be able to lay out with my dogs and the other dogs and behave and be comfortable. Okay? Right. So sit. Now we've got the heel command. The heel command is a box right here beside us. Uh, her job is to stay beside me. My job is to keep her beside me in that box. When I stop moving, she's supposed to sit automatically. Heel. So I'm going to come straight to you this time. She sits. Good girl. I can step off and she holds it. The job is to keep her in the box. So heel. Now watch what happens when I step away. See how she comes back into the box? But I don't stop while she's in the process of coming to the box. I stop only after she's back in the box because we want to build on success. So I'm going to go the other way. Heel. Turn, 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 turn. Straighten back up. We stop, we sit. Good girl. Hand signal for heel is this way. Right. Notice she's right there. That's a perfect time to give a dog a treat sometime. If you decide to give a dog a treat in the heel command, 
is stopping out in front of you instead of over here because we don't want her to turn in. Let's go. So the next thing we're going to do is the C-O-M-E command. Sit. Good. So I actually loaded up a treat in another hand. I'm going to switch it over. The come command only she, she comes and sits in front of us, okay? Good girl. Uh, to come and sit in front of us and hold it. I can give the treat as soon as she comes and sits, or I can actually give her the treat after she knows what to do. She comes and sits and holds it for a second. Each one of those are different uh, ways to give the come command for a dog to understand they have to stay a while or they're going to get rewarded for just the act of come. She comes, she sits. Good girl. Now, used to, she would right, watch my hand all the time because it had a treat in it. Because I used the come an awful, the, the treat an awful lot with the come command. I would not give her the treat till she looked me in the eye. That's one of the things that we've done real well with her is teach her not to look for the treat at our hands, but look at it by looking at us. Teaches that focus. Now, if she was off leash or uh, in another room of the house, trying to get her away from me, paying attention to something else, She's on a loose leash now. I'm giving her as much leash as I want to give her so she can sort of do what she wants. And then I'm going to then I'm going to do something like this. this. And if I can't, I can't. This is good that she wants to be with us, okay? Anytime your dog is walking with you on leash or off leash and they want to stay with you, praise it. Give a treat. It's creating that bond that I speak so much of. I'm going to try to make this happen here. Oh, hey, come. Now, if you go back and play, out a girl, break. If you go back and watch that, I did not tell her to come until she committed to coming to me. Okay, when she decided to come to me, I just melded come into her brain with all the happy thoughts she had. If she hadn't come to me when I said, hey, Olive, I wouldn't have told her to come. I'll never tell my dog to come unless I know they're going to come. And in the beginning, I always make sure they're coming before I reward. I never provide a consequence or anything that she can see, ne see as negative on the back end of the come when she comes. So she comes to me, she sits, I break her, I love her, I let her go. If I have to put her up, I'll still break her, release her, and I'll wait 30 seconds or a minute, and then I'll put her up. I don't want her to think that had anything to do with the come command. Another command that I about forgot, sit down, stay. Now what's the difference in the stay command? She's going to be there for a while. Now she could actively not pay attention to me. She could chew on a bone. She could smell the ground. If I saw her pick up a rock or something she wasn't supposed to pick up, I would bite her and tell her no, down, stay. I ask my dogs for the first few weeks to do the down stay just about every day, at least three or four times a week because that's cementing our relationship with me as the leader, them as a member of the pack, okay? Very important. Once I have that, I start using that as like a door command. If I want to go in another room, if I want to go in the kitchen for some reason or something like that, then what I will do is I'll walk out the door. As I'm going out the door, I'll say, stay. And then I'll walk on. If she's on the other side, I'll tell her, good girl. And if she stays, when I come back, I tell her, good girl, and I might even reward her for that, all right? But if she comes through, I'll pick up the leash or the tab or her scruff and tap her back into the room. No, 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 stay, and then I'll immediately do it again. Every time my dog makes a mistake or I make a mistake, I'm going to come back and try to do it correctly at least two times in a row. Remember, we're always trying to be positive with this. That is so, so important. We're not here for it not to be fun. Like I said, she's having so much fun, she wants to please, and she, it's just a lot of fun. It's a game for her a lot of times, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to make sure you fine tune it so that she's always obedient. But what's gonna happen is you're building that bond together a little bit more. Frank, that a girl. Good girl, she's looking for a treat. I told you she's a little treat crazy, but I didn't have a treat. I primarily, when I'm working with treats with the dog, which I do just about all the time, as long as they're treat motivated, I will always use a treat to teach our lure and tease. Once they know it, I give it for a job well done, and then I gradually back off treats 
except for the come command or the things that we're really having a hard time with. And then after that, I'll still give treats, but I decide. I just don't advertise the treats for my dogs unless I'm trying to do the come off leash or something like that. Let's go. So the last thing we got is the uh, load up command. Load up. Good girl. In the bush. I like that. Right. So we had the choice. Rachel and I had the choice of cutting back those limbs this time because they've grown a little bit more. We chose not to. We decided that's just uh, something that they have to fight through. And by doing that, that, I like to think it gives them a little bit more confidence in what they're doing because they're a little hesitant to go somewhere where something's pushing against them. And it just teaches them to obey whenever we want them to obey. Have I forgotten anything? I think not. I think we're pretty much on, on par. Remember, uh, when she does something, she's going to do it over and over again. If it's something you like, you praise it, you reward it. If it's something you don't like, you bite it, provide a consequence. We're not here to intimidate or dominate or hurt or her fear you. Remember that. Even after a consequence, we come back and provide like praise. So, so important. The other thing is, is try never to ask a command unless you're prepared or you in the position to act upon it regardless of what she does. That's so important. I tell people it's black and white, on off, now or not, okay? And good girl. So you see I praised her. Why? She sat down and it's just being a, a really good girl, which she is. That's the key. You know if you need me, you pick up the phone and call me, 336-945-3232. You know, for the others out there, I'm at jimhodgesdogtraining.com, Facebook, Jim Hodges Dog Training, even on Amazon, I have the leashes and some things like that, made in the USA, they're made for me by the Amish. Uh, anything I can help you with, just let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you and help. Thank you so much and God bless.